Goon Swarm screws anyone and everyone over who isn't a goon, even sometimes if they are a goon, and they're basically just a bandwagon full of simpering retards. Bas have you heard of 4chan? <laughs> have you heard I'm of 4chan? Sorry, I was laughing. No, I haven't. <laughs> Uh, 4chan is basically the cesspit of the internet. If you ever get a chance to go, don't. Basically, you take the black essence that is in internet and anonymity, and you put it, concentrate into one place, a forum, and you get 4chan. Now, convert 4chan into a large network of people called the Something Awful Group, and you put them in these... In you put them in these random games and you just title them Goon Swarm. There's Goon Swarm members in EVE, they have a uh, WoW Goon Swarm, they have um, a thing in Age of Conan for Goon Swarm. I believe they even have something for Team Fortress 2 and all those sorts of games with uh, Goon Swarm. And as you can probably guess, Goon Swarm is about getting as many idiots into you can, into the cheapest ships that can still kill something, and basically, like a hive of bees, just swarm something until it dies. There's actually um, a video circling around on YouTube a couple of years ago. I think it was years ago. It might have been, two, might have been 2007, 2008. Of uh, basically a group of 12 to 15 glancy rookie frigates just swarming a ferox and blowing it up and it was a goon swarm video so that's basically goon swarm tactics where they get their own little piece of pie out in 0, 0 and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger you think of like a snowball something awful is a gigantic forum and basically, if you're in the something awful forums, you can get in the goon swarm. And pretty much almost everyone from the something awful forums got into goon swarm. Goon swarm invited all of their friends, all of their family into goon swarm, and that is that is the only way you can get into goon swarm is if you know a goon swarm member in real life, or if you're part of the something awful forums before a specific date. It's how they. It's how. Uh, it's how they stop their spies, but it they have enough people, but it's not a very good way to start recruiting. So don't say, hey, let's do this. This sounds like a good idea. You'll not get people that way. So, basically, think back to that later video and start thinking that, hey, these idiots can get a cat or assembly array. Now, just keep that in mind. I said that Goon Swarm was the major enemy of the Band of Brothers. Well, Band of Brothers isn't all they say. It's like on the outside, they're this big, shiny, golden metropolis. It's basically utopia. But the truth is, they're not. All of the Bob directors are conceited dicks who basically tread on their own members for their own gain, and they're just a whole bunch of rude douchebags that, you know, they're the masters of the universe. Yeah, go ahead and put it in the He-Man reference right there. Um, and, well... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch that one. <laughs> uh, basically, this happened just at the beginning of this year. So we skip, we'll skip it a couple bit, but I don't know... Like I said, I don't know the entire chronology of uh, Band of Brothers history. I've probably said that like six times now. I don't give a damn. Anyway... Uh, just in March, uh, March or February, I believe it was February, uh, one of the uh, directors in one of the leading, not not Reikoku, but probably two or three tiers under Reikoku, I think it was, um, I don't remember the, what exactly the was called, but one of the directors in there, his name was Hagarth Agamar, you can probably look him up online, I don't know, he, uh, he uh, made an alt into Goon Swarm, and the way Goon Swarm runs is they put out a whole bunch of advertisements for Goon Swarm. If you take a look on YouTube, look up anything Goon Swarm, you'll just find tons and tons of propaganda videos. Don't believe them, just look at them. They're really pretty, but it's like a really poisonous flower. <laughs>
If you try it, if you follow the directions, don't touch. yeah, don't, don't. It's like just look, don't touch. And the Goon Swarm videos are actually very, very, very good, but they're re like I said, they don't recruit anyone except people they know, their family, or people from the something off of forums who've been there at, uh, before a certain date. <clears throat> so, if you try, if you get, if you get in contact with a Goon Swarm member. And they say, oh yeah, go ahead, bring up all your stuff, uh, pay this down payment, which is something completely, utterly ludicrous, like uh, 50 million quid, uh, isk, uh, 50 million isk, and you bring your best ship, because, you know, you want to look your best for these guys. It's like, you get a cat or ship, you get a cat or ship there, and basically they say, okay, come to this system, and, you know, it's a 0.0. .0 system so you say okay this sounds good this sounds good i'll go go ahead there and you don't know this could be god knows how long of a trip to go it's like it takes you 30 bloody minutes to get there and it's like okay i'm right here and they say okay we're waiting you're we're waiting to invite you in you walk into the system all of a sudden you're jammed you're scrambled and suddenly before you know it you're in a station without a pod and you're wondering what the heck's going on so, uh, hold on just a minute. Uh, anyway, so if you ever leave the corp for any reason and you get brought up by a goon swarm member, don't trust them. It's like your mother always said, don't take candy from strangers. Yeah, well, don't take advice from goon swarm members. Because it's filled with rape, uh, date rape drugs. It's, uh, and trust me, I know this from experience, because I've been scammed by Goon Swarm twice in my life, so... <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So something similar happened to Pepe when we joined this alliance. He was headed out here, and somebody invited him into a fleet, and he accepted, and they took him out in the middle of some place and blew him up. Yeah, the truth is, Eve is full of idiots, dicks, scumbags, and people who just don't really like anyone. It's only when one those of the, people one come One of the articles to... I was reading, one of the articles I was reading said the first thing to understand is, nobody is your friend. It's, it's almost the case, that's almost the case. It, it, you, you should have a... Uh, um, an escape clause for everything. That's pretty much the truth in everything about Eve. Always look for a back way out. Of. 